education, first and foremostly, must be a passion. I think it must be a passionate thing from the instructor, but I think you're trying to induce in the student body a similar passion. And although it may be harder to explain why Einstein's relativity equation is a thing of beauty, or the organization of uh, metabolic pathways in your body, although it might be harder to do that in terms of making that an issue of passion, it is, and only when the students have seemed to be a weaned away from it being a chore and think passionately about it have I succeeded. He's so intrigued by the material, he makes it intriguing to us, and I mean, he loves it and he loves the students, so it's great. Dr. Campbell is down to earth, and that makes the class so enjoyable. If I lecture, on areas and on topics that students think are esoteric, I'm going to lose them. So I plan contexts in which I can bring complex biochemical issues, complex microbiological issues down to the immediacy of their everyday life. Now I want you to see how you do this. And the cool thing to realize is you're doing it right now. You're all sitting quietly. If any of you ran to class, You've built up the glycogen that you used in the run to class, and now you're coasting. Teaching is a one-on-one -on -one activity that may be conducted in large groups, but it's still a one-on-one -on -one activity where some experience, some wisdom that you have is transmitted, and the transmission is accepted because the person receiving the transmission trusts you. And he makes you feel comfortable with the subject material. I mean, look at me, I'm dressed as a pirate right now. Happy Halloween. If I can feel comfortable enough coming to his class dressed like this, what does that say about him as a human being? I walked up to him, put my arm around him, and said, Admiral Campbell of the SSS Biochemistry, let's set a course for peptidoglycans. The man got such a kick at it. It was great. Makes me want to learn more. A mentor must slip momentarily into the shoes of the mentored. And without being dictatorial, gently direct and give advice. I still cherish and want to transfer to my students the human side of being a professor. He's just such a nice guy. He's there all the time and he'll answer any question you have. The week before an exam, you can catch him like practically any time in the Cathedral of Learning and he'll just sit down and talk to you about whether or not you're planning on being a doctor, how it's going. He'll help you even outside of biochemistry. When I go into a class at the beginning of term, whether it's 20, which isn't very often, more like 120, 220, 420, I get this unbelievable thrill. And as long as I get that thrill, I will believe that I'm doing the right thing. I cannot think of anything more glorious for a human being to do than affect for good the life of another.